Hey guys, my name's Wes from Health 101. Today we're gonna to be talking about the rotator cuff muscles. So in clinic, it, one of the most challenging things we can do is to activate the rotator cuff and to rehabilitate the, rot the rotator cuff post-surgery and in regards to after injury. So what we're gonna look at is how the complex machine can be used to place onto the rotator cuff to make sure we get full activation of those muscles and to teach the brain how to re I guess reform the connection with those muscles after we've had an injury and also how to use them more appropriately while we're exercising. So when we go to placing the pads for the Compax machine you want to be using the muscle bellies. So the first one we've got here is over supraspinatus within the muscle belly and then towards the tendon insertion and then we're going down into infraspinatus and into the tendon insertion through this area. When we activate this muscle, you can use it in all sorts of different positions. So for example, you can come into the traditional movement of external rotation, or uh, as shown earlier, we can actually lift the arm up while we get that activating. So I think if you lift that arm up for me. So it shows that we can get muscle activation while we're actually using the arm. We can then transform that into a progression of using, using weight either using weights or using therabands to therefore um, make it more difficult for the patient as they develop past that acute stage or into the more progressed development from there. 